We have a bit of a problem in the gaming community right now. I'm sure you have all heard about Hogwarts Legacy and how JK Rowling has said some not, not so nice things and how people are upset about that. Normally I would keep this kind of thing off my channel, but I have to step in here after watching Girlfriend Review's latest video about how they were essentially bullied off of not one but two platforms, both Twitch and Reddit. Now you might be thinking, well, they deserved it. They're supporting a terrible person and so they should be uh, reprimanded for that. But let's get a little bit deeper into that, okay? What did they actually do? They played a game. It's their job to play games. I've watched Girlfriend Reviews for years now. They don't say mean things about people, that is. Sometimes they're mean to games. But they are not mean people. They don't talk about political issues on their channel at all. They don't make jokes about the trans community. They don't talk about the trans community. They just play games. They're just a couple of goofy people having a good time. But I can hear you saying Hogwarts Legacy supports JK Rowling and therefore is not acceptable. Well, I'm going to have to disagree and let's take a deeper look at why. Because for me, this issue is not really about trans people and whether or not you like them. This issue is about where do we draw the line between separating works and people. In this particular case, JK Rowling had absolutely nothing to do with the making of this game. She didn't make the models, she didn't write the story, she had no input whatsoever. This work is not a reflection of JK Rowling. The game is not about trans people and the game is not about her. The game is about wizards doing magic. And yes, she does make some money off of it, but the woman is already richer than God. She makes 50 to 100 million dollars a year without the game, and whatever royalties she makes is not going to impact her life whatsoever. You buying or not buying this game is not going to affect her life. She is already a billionaire. It does not matter. And once again, she had nothing to do with making of this game. Nothing whatsoever. And the game is not even about any of her political ide ideologies. Now, you may choose not to buy it just out of principle, and that's your right. If you don't want to buy it because you just can't stand being associated with her at all, that's fine. Honestly, I don't care. What is not okay is bullying people because they're playing a game that is not offensive whatsoever in itself. The problem we have in gaming right now is bullying. It's not transphobia. It's not JK Rowling. It's bullying. And it's been going both ways right now. There's, of course, there's a lot of bullying towards trans people, and I, that's not good. And now recently it's starting to go the other way too, where people who are maybe not trans foes, but just don't scream from the rooftops their support are getting bullied because they're quote unquote not allies. And I want to be clear here that I'm not advocating one way or the other. All I'm saying is that there's a time and a place and gaming channels that are not even talking about the issue that you're championing is not the place to be bullying people. And in fact, nowhere is the place to be bullying people because we shouldn't be bullying people at all. If you have an issue, let's talk about it. Make your point, but be nice. I haven't bought Hogwarts Legacy, which is why you're watching The Witcher right now, because I don't have any footage to show you of Hogwarts. Uh, but I will be buying it, and I will be reviewing it, because it, the game looks fun. And as far as I know, the game is not about trans rights, pro or against. It's about wizards doing magic. And I think that looks fun, so I'm going to play it. I'm not playing games to make political statements. I'm playing games to have fun, and the game looks fun. And the game itself is not a statement. I don't view this as support of JK Rowling because, as I already said, she doesn't need my money. And my money, even though some of it will go to her, makes no difference to her. It doesn't affect her life. It doesn't affect what she supports or doesn't support. And me buying this game is not a statement on what I support politically. It's a statement on what I support in gaming, which is good games, or at least what I think is going to be a good game. I can't actually comment because I haven't played it yet. But that's the whole point of this channel is I'm going to play games that I think look good, and then I will tell you if they were actually good. So that's my message is if you have a problem, 
Let's talk about it. If you can't explain nicely and calmly why you think what you think, then you're not doing it right. If you don't want to buy this game because you can't stand to be associated to JK Rowling, that's fine. Don't buy it. But don't harass people that do. Because them buying the game is not necessarily a statement on their views of trans rights. Maybe they just want to be a wizard and use some magic for a bit. So let's all be a little bit nicer to each other and just enjoy some games.